Hi guys, uh, Ashur here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today we will be looking uh, together how we will configure this uh, IoT. IoT, it's nothing but Internet of Things. So Internet of Things. So this uh, Industry 4.0 is really encouraging the whole world to go ahead how we can look into the future and how our daily use of these devices can improve into automations so that is how this i internet of things will help us all the devices that we are using in a daily basis will be connected to the internet of things iot helping us to do things in a simpler and faster way and an accurate way so without much further ado let's kick it so uh, this is the topology I've created as of now so we will connect the cable as of now so let's take a cable and connect from server this will be our DCP server where he will provide the IP to all the end devices so from the switch we will connect to the door and then from here we will connect to the garage from here we go to the connect to the window again to our webcam we will connect to our lamp we will also connect to the fan so all this we will configure one by one so this all things will be very handy and we can monitor even from the phone or from the server where it is centralized so uh, let's take one IP address of so here so we'll take last C IP address as of now one and two one six eight dot ten dot zero. This is our network. So let's configure first the server, DHCP server. So let's go to this server and we'll put the IP address with the class C IP address. Yeah, ten dot two. And then we will go ahead with the setting of the default. We will also give the IP address of this DNS. So ten. So let's give 242 here. Okay. And now let's close this. We go to the services. From service, we go to the DHCP. And we will turn on these uh, services of DHCP. And then we will give here the pool name, CNA, and then the default gateway. We give the same thing here 10.1. At the DNS, we will give the same DNS like uh, 242 and then the IP address starting IP address we run this way okay subnet mass okay so everything's so good so now we will just turn on this okay so services is there uh, okay so our IP here 10 is missing that's why it's not allowing us okay so let's click add and it's added there now from here as we're going to configure the IoT so you come down to this IoT and turn on this so remember without turning on this uh, services or register server IoT will not work so make sure that you turn on this difference okay now let's go to the desktop from here we will go to this uh, IoT monitoring monitor so we have to first register with our uh, server IP address so we have to put our IP address here so 10.2 and then we try to log in and then let's sign up here so sign up with a new user so the first user that we will create was like a, we just gave a user one here and the password we we'll just create 2023 so let's create that so now as we log into the server the iot monitor but there is no device as of now because these end devices they have not get their IP address so let's close this and we go to the end devices of this fan light and all so before that we make sure the names are correct so let's go to the fan we go to the config T and here the display name we have to change this to fan so that it is easy for us to remember now let's put to our DHP so now we got the IP address and we come down to this I2 server a remote server so let's put the server IP address here 
192.168.10.2 that is our server and then username was user1 and the password was uh, 2023 so we try to connect this it's connecting yes it's connected the refresh button shows that it is connected so now we go to the light so config here also we give the name light and then we put the DHCP we'll get the IP address and we go to this remote server IP address and it must say dot 10.2 the username was user1 and the password was 2023 as we have created in the server so let's try to click this connect and it's connected the next one was webcam so let's go to this change the name <coughs> and once you got the DHCP IP address you come down to the remote server here we put the IP address from here once again 10.2 and the username was the same and the password was also the same connect okay so it's connected now go to the next one here also we do the same thing but the change of the name window and then DHCP and then we go to this remote server put the server IP address once again to username was one user one and the password was 2023 and we click connect okay it's connected now let's go to the garage from here also we just give the same name garage and then DHCP once you go that you come down to this remote server and put the IP address of the server and then two and then username was user one and password is definitely three connect okay it's connected go to the last one that is door go to the config once again change the name of this and put this door there and DHCP once again and come down from here go to the remote server put the IP address of this server here and then the username user1 and the password was 2023 then just click connect and it will show you the refresh button is on it's connected yeah so now it's connected so guys so far so good our configuration so let's go to the server to monitor whatever we have configured so let's pull aside a little bit this side we go to this IoT monitor click that try to log in again with the user one and the password 2023 and then we sign in now you can see all the end devices are already listed here so let's go to the fan and we try right now fan is not rotating so let's put to low now it started spinning when you put high also it started spinning faster let's see the light the light is off as of now let's put to dim you can see it's on let's put to brighter on you can see what about the webcam it is off now no, nothing button is all off and let's click now it started glowing and that is that now let's see the windows windows so if you want to on the monitor remotely the windows is open as of now and if you want to close you close again okay now let's see the door uh, first of all garage so garage as of now close now let's do open so now it's open if you have to close it's close now let's see the door the door as of now it's open so let's lock See, as you can see the light, red light is showing there. Unlock. Yes. So this is how you can uh, also see and control everything from one place itself. I hope this video has been informative for you. And I'd like to thank you. If you have any doubts or that, you can give in the comment section below. Or if you have any thing that you want to clear so that you can also give your comments whatever you think this video which part of video you like or you don't like you can give always give your comments in the comment section below always don't forget to like and subscribe 
and uh, keep on tuning into the channel so that uh, whenever there is a new update you will be always getting up. So guys thank you for your time and uh, see you in the next video.